Okay, so this is Explain 11.20 VR3 Beta on the Samsung Odyssey. Now, a lot of people would like to know whether there's any improvement uh, with the Odyssey's higher resolution screen. And I can tell you now that there is a slight improvement in terms of readability and legibility of the instruments, especially on the uh, the numbers on the instrument, the digits, all that you can, it's much more defined. And also, for example, yeah, if I look on the left there, the administration building, I can clearly make out the words administration is much more uh, readable compared to the Vive and Rift. Uh, other than that, on the GPS itself, uh, it's slightly easier to read, to see the symbols, but uh, on the skinny text that usually appears on the on the GPS, it's still hard to read them. This, uh, all these buttons, that's pretty much unreadable still from the system. You have to zoom in and look in, see, then to make them out. Um, warning label, that's pretty much unreadable. Um, the lights, the, all the light setting, all that, I can make them out slightly better than the Vahen Reef, but still. It's not as uh, sharp as I would like. Other than that, um, performance-wise, I'm getting pretty good performance. 45 frames. This, this is a uh, Shawham Airfield in UK. Uh, I have uh, a the HD mesh from AI Pilot X. I'm getting about 45 frames per second. Right, out. As you can see, the controllers will drift if you go out of your view, they might drift. But if they are in front of you, they, it's pretty much trackable. Right, let's start the engine and get on the flight. Let's start the batteries. 